What is nominalism and what are its consequences as you see them? A simple way to put it is that a universal or the eternal definition of something, that that doesn't exist, um, that there are no universals, there is no such concept of goodness or love or nature. Um, they're simply words, hence the word nominalism. Words, therefore, don't really adhere to anything because words are universals by definition. We use a word like cat. We're, we're not referring to a specific cat. We're referring to what we think a cat is. But you're claiming that there is no such entity. So the word doesn't adhere to anything. And therefore, um, our words end up creating the reality. But if it doesn't adhere to anything, then whoever has the power to define words defines reality. It's a shocking idea. It denies that reality itself is substantial. The real is, again, the flux, the undefinable nothing, and that human language is a means whereby the will can struggle to force itself on it. It's a flux of nothing, and our words kind of pin down some kind of meaning. And when there's no universal truths, um, anything goes. This is the end self. This is the chaos. You can't be a liberal Democrat. Um, with small d and be a nominalist. Nominalist is almost an absurdity. It removes any universality to anything around you. Language then becomes just a, a form of manipulation. You know, labor, um, Karl Marx, uh, viewed the same thing with labor's imprint on nature. Locke even said the same thing. It's an re attack on reality itself. Everything from the state of nature to perfect competition, all of these things, even Descartes' uh, uh, method, in the meditation, eliminating everything, that nothing exists until the human will comes around then imposes what it wants uh, onto the natural world, actually creating the natural world. That's the, um, um, that's the extreme radicalism of, of nominalism. And it sounds like it's this very abstract academic idea, but modernity is completely based on the idea that there are no universal truths. Therefore, words don't refer to anything. So whoever can control the definition of a word controls reality. And it takes some time to do that. But that's the extreme radicalism of what nominalism is. Um, there, is there is no such thing as, as goodness. And then from that, we can make sense out of individually good acts. No, there isn't. It's just individually good acts that we arbitrarily call good for some other reason. That it, it, We like it. It's good for us. Something like that. Um, which means that ultimately words like good mean absolutely nothing. And then someone has to come around and redefine it however they see fit. Only very powerful people can do that. Nominalism is the ontology of death. Revolution, political revolution, social revolution can occur if there are these stable, uh, identifiable objects in the world. Only when that's eliminated, can you create a revolutionary society? It's that nothing, that chaos that we were talking about in the killing of the king ritual. 